Hi guys, JC here. Welcome to part two of my two-part series for the Kentucky Derby weekend. <laughs> so, and obviously that must only mean one thing. Yep, it is time once more for the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> guys, this is race 12 from Churchill. It is set for the traditional mile and a quarter on the main track. It's, of course, restricted to three-year-olds and carries a large, large purse of $3 million. So, let's get started right away. And, guys, let me tell you this. I am liking known agenda on top. Let me tell you why. <laughs> this horse... The last two times out is what I'm going off of for this one, you guys. Um, you know, he dominated that Florida Derby last time out. He killed him by almost three. Time before that, oh boy, he really sold the show and he won by 11 lengths. 11. And this is where I'm going with the angle part of it, you guys. I ran Ortiz was up during both those two victories and... Iran is definitely back again. So, and he's definitely going to look to go three for three with this one. Now, I mean, you guys, there's no discounting, you know, your rock the world and essential quality. We're going to get to those horses in a minute. But, I mean, no agenda. He stalked these last two tries like a true professional. And, like I said, you know, Iran was up last time out, last two times out, excuse me. He's, he's going to do it again, you guys. Todd Pletcher is trainer. He's out of curling. All's good with this one. So, no agenda on top for your Saturday. Moving right along. Now, I am liking Rock Your Roll to run second. Now, I love how this horse, what caught my eye about this one really, is how he transi transitioned <laughs> from the turf to the dirt with these. You know, he won that, he wired that Santa Anita Derby by four and a half. Uh, I mean, and I also like the distance situation with this one. The distances kept getting longer. And the margins of victory also kept getting longer. So, I mean, I, I feel like this one's going to be able to hang with them. This one's going to be able to just do his thing. Could possibly try and wire the field again on Saturday. And that may happen. Who knows? But, I mean, he's got Joel Rosario up. So, really, I can't wait to see what happens with, with this one. But I got him running second for you. And you guys rounding out shot three. I've got essential quality running third. Now, Oh boy, talk about perfection. This horse, of course, have won a ton of stakes. Um, you know, he's, okay, he's basically sent to the lead pretty close to, to right away. You know what I mean? But his performance in the Breeders' Cup last year, he closed him from eight down. So I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering with essential quality, are they going to try and send him to the lead like normal, you know, hang him out second or, or something like that, like like most of the time? Or, thinking back to the Breeders' Cup, are they going to try to do the close thing and hold him back for a while and see if he can't make his move? Because there is other speed in this race. You guys can see that. So, I mean, I just wonder. So I'm thinking that, they might just try the closing angle with this one. So, nonetheless, I got a central quality running third. And, of course, your JC upset special. Hidden stash. <laughs> Guys, I've said before, I will say it again. If you like what you see and I know that you do, please click subscribe, ring the bell so you never, ever miss a video. And pass my video down the street to someone else who's going to click like and ring so they never ever miss a video as well and you guys please join me on Facebook facebook.com slash JC's Horse Racing Preview good luck Saturday good luck Friday and I will catch you guys next week bye